Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Wilmer and today we're going to be looking at the PDF standards tool in Adobe Agrat Pro DC. So let's take a look at it. Now today is going to be it's going to be more of a unique tutorial in the sense that there's not much to show off so much as it's more of an explanation since not as many people are familiar with what PDF standards are. So allow me to explain. So on the right-hand side in the tool, we have the options to save as PDFA, PDFX, or PDFE. Now, what are these? So these are just standards for what PDFs can be and what they adhere to. And adhering to a standard, you know, gives you gets you some insight into what the document is. So PDFA is short for PDF Archive. So it's a PDF specialized for use in archiving and long-term preservation of electronic documents. So just to give you an idea, this, this means features such as, you know, linking like URLs and encryption because those can become obsolete over time. You know, if you ever tried opening up a URL from 10 years ago, it's probably going to be broken. But um, so that's not allowed for, for long term preservation of electronic documents. Similarly, encryption as computers become more powerful, both encryption and decryption algorithms will become new and then become obsolete. So that's not so good for long term preservation. Now moving on to PDFX or PDF Exchange. This is a PDF or a standard specialized to facilitate graphical exchanges. Now what does this mean? This is basically this just means that there's a series of printing like printing press related requirements. So all the colors must adhere to some CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, or black standards or RGB standards. And uh, additionally, there can be no active content since obviously active content you can't play a GIF if you printed out the document. So that'd be kind of that'd be kind of pointless really. But that's just a basic idea of what a PDFX is. Uh, PDFE, so this is short for PDF engineering. It's a PDF specialized for creation of documents used in geospatial context, construction, manufacturing. So there's a lot of support for interactive media, animations, 3D content. So think back to the the Rich Media tool. You had we had that uh, 3D helicopter. And also think back to the measurement tool. I had that the uh, geospatial PDF, the map of Albania, where I was measuring the distance and it was accurately reading the latitude and longitude. So that's some things that could be applicable into a PDFE. And so over here on the right hand side, we're not going to talk about this too much today, but it's the pre-flight. So just a brief, very brief overview. You can do a lot more detailed conversions and verifications of compliance with these standards. But for the actual PDF standards tool, for an example of what it can do, we're just going to try saving this as a PDFA, the Meridian document. And I've already done that, but we'll just do it again. And we're going to replace it. And so it's going to apply its little fix-ups. OK, now we're in our Meridian document that claims compliance with the PDFA standard. So. We could either verify the compliance in the pre-flight or a special navigation pane is opened up on the left-hand side for standards. So we can use this tool to verify the PDF is indeed a PDFA. And you don't have to make this pop up or anything, but if you if it's not appearing, you can go into view, show, hide, navigation panes, standards. But note this will only appear if you're in a file that claims compliance with the standard. But let's take a look at it. So standard PDFA to B, and we can verify it, and it succeeded. So that's pretty much it for the PDF standards tool. Thanks for tuning in, folks. My name is David Wilmer, and next time we're going to be looking at the optimized PDF tool, and we're going to go more in depth with the pre-flight tool. But until then, take care, everybody.